All right, so I'm trying this vlogging thing. This is uh, my temporary neighborhood that I'm in right now. I'm just walking to Young Street. Young Street is a really big, long, busy street in Toronto. It's the nexus of the city. And uh, the one of the main subway lines is on Young Street. And uh, as you can see, this part of the street doesn't even have a uh, uh, sidewalk. So that's where I'm living right now. So uh, I hope my camera doesn't run out of batteries. I think I only have like half an hour of battery life at this high definition. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me over the cars, the, the high definition filming. Half an hour of battery life. Uh, smoking a cigarette, a podium, a podium cigarette. Uh, they're quite stinky. I get mocked for them. Maybe shoot. Okay. Uh, I get mocked for smoking the cigarettes. Uh, oh man. So uh, this is quite nerve wracking because I'm afraid people might think things about me walking down the street talking to a camera. But it's uh, quite normal. And uh, it's cold. It's about. Uh, five degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, like, zero is freezing in Celsius, and 30 is about 90. Uh, just walked past a dog, I guess. Uh, so it's about 10 a.m., and, uh, It's about 10 a.m. I guess she didn't think I was crazy because she was also talking to herself uh, or to her Bluetooth, I imagine. Uh, I guess this is normal now in uh, 2013 society. So it's 10 a.m. and it, it seems there's a lot of cars. People are still heading to work, I guess. I don't know where they go. Sometimes I think that nobody works. Uh, in Toronto, it's a city of about three million people. And uh, who knows what everyone's doing. Obviously, some people have jobs. Uh, but like, you'll always find people on the street. You'll always find people in the shops. Uh, no one ever questions like, hey, why aren't you at work? Like, unless they know you. Like, if you introduce yourself to someone, they'll ask, like, hey, what do you do? That's a pretty standard icebreaker. And if you don't have a job, and if you haven't had a job for five years, uh, there's not much you can say about that. Uh, it kinda firms up the ice instead of breaks it. So, let's see, we're on this street, this is, uh, let's see, Lawrence, this is Lawrence Street, and uh, it's, a, it's a big street, we're in uh, the north end of town, which is kind of like the wealthy neighborhood, um, so, it's almost suburban, but it's still city. They don't like to say that they're suburban. And they're not really. It is still a city. Uh, but downtown is quite different. It's much more dense. Still a lot of cars, but also a lot of people. 
not so many people walking down the street in this area. When we get downtown, there'll be a lot of people. And when we get to the subway, which is where I'm going now, uh, there will be a lot of people. And I'm not sure if I'll have the courage to film in there because uh, people, uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna think things about me. Uh, people are going to uh, not say anything to me, but say things to each other after I'm out of earshot. Uh, still smoking that cigarette, I turned off the camera for a bit because uh, I was passing this guy with a dog and he was kind of like giving me the eye, you know that eye? So, uh, okay, that's a bus stop and uh, I can probably make it here. Oh, this camera is protecting me. The cars are slowing down. As you can see, that light there, that, uh, that tells me how long until the, uh, what do you call it? The traffic light turns red. So technically, I have until that light counts down. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my water with me which means I'm going to have to pay for bottles of water. It's quite a bit of walking that I plan to do today. I'd like to go to the heart of downtown, which is Young and Dundas. Uh, quite a busy area. It's like the Times Square, New York's Times Square of Toronto. Go to the heart of downtown. I hope I'm not breathing too heavy. I, I hope this is not like a breathy boo. Uh, heart of downtown. Walk to the CBC building. Now the CBC is like, it's uh, it's, it's, I guess if you're American, you probably know the BBC. So it's like the BBC, but it's Canadian. But what the BBC and the CBC is, is kind of like one of the NBC, ABC, CBS, only it's paid for by the government. So, and it's also like, politically it's very left-wing, even though right now we have a, uh, a conservative government, the CBC is always, you know, if you want the right-wing channels, you want like CTV, or now we have Sun News. Sun News is like the Fox News of Canada. But the CBC has this big open area. I don't know if they'll let me film in it, but I could uh, get close to it at least. There's security posted, but it's public. You can, uh, you can just walk in. I spent some time this summer. Uh, just like, you know, just hanging out there reading a book. People on Facebook were like, whoa, is he, uh, is he a little weird? For hanging out at the CBC, but, you know, it's a big city. People, people don't know you can just hang out at the CBC. Or maybe you can't, but... You can at least tour it. There's a museum there, uh, a little theater, where last time I was there, they were playing a show called Stephen and Chris. Stephen and Chris is uh, a daytime talk show. Uh, it's uh, kind of like the Ellen show, I guess. Uh, get the idea. I hope, and I hope that is not offensive. Uh, uh, well, I don't think so. I, I don't like it because I don't like daytime shows, but I like uh, human beings. I like to live on this planet. I don't want to be uh, 
persecuted uh, for walking down the street talking to my camera. Uh, but, uh, I'm coming up on Young Street and uh, you can see there's Young Street. I guess you can't really tell that it's such a big street. But we're coming up on the subway and I have one token left and I have some change to get home. It's three dollars right now uh, to get on the subway. And uh, it's kind of expensive, but it's been three dollars for a few years and I'm starting to resent the fact that it's three dollars less and less. Three dollars seems less of a imposition. I remember when I was a child, uh, we're in the subway, when I was a child, uh, tickets for children were 50 cents. Children's tickets are still cheaper. Uh, but I don't know, I think they're like a dollar twenty-five now. Maybe a dollar fifty. And then there's student tickets for like the high schoolers. Senior tickets, which are about the same as student tickets. Got to get my token. Well, I'll use the three dollars. Hello. Get myself a transfer. Transfers, so uh, you get off like the subway, get on a streetcar or a bus. You can pretty much get wherever you want to go on the TTC. Uh, it's uh, obviously if you want luxury, it's better to take a car. Uh, cars are expensive and they also crowd up the streets and of course pollute the environment. But uh, most people, if they have the money, they, they take a car. So I'm on the platform. And here comes a train. Lucky me. Please stand clear of the doors. I'll just stand over here so I don't bother anyone. So this is the subway. stop filming. Alright, I'm at a uh, Blur Station, a uh, Blur Young Station, and uh, it's quite crowded. I was going to get off at Dundas, but I was really anxious and I needed a cigarette. So I'm just walking up the stairs. So now we are in some kind of mall. There's a guy. 
guy setting up with the camera. Hello. Hi. And uh, that was weird. So we're at the heart of downtown, more or less. It's a big heart. And uh, some construction going on. Some tall buildings everywhere. I'm gonna have to buy myself a bottle of water. And I'm gonna head south towards the CDC. Might also get myself something to eat, like a hops dog. Uh, really paranoid whenever I'm close to someone. Paranoid they think I'm weird. So I uh, waited in line at this building. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, like five years ago they were planning to build that building. It's going to be a really tall building. House for rich people to live and uh, cost millions of dollars to live there and uh, I was paid like $500 just to wait in line for people who wanted to get the apartment. So this isn't too bad. No one's really uh, questioning me. Gotta get my cigarette. Got some uh, phlegm in my mouth. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe I'm just not aware of how society functions these days. Maybe a man walking down the street talking to his camera is uh, not strange. In fact, it's normal, perhaps annoying, but not weird. And I'm uh, going to light my cigarette. So there's some uh, sex shops and such, this area, there's a weed shop, uh, tall buildings abound, uh, and also some old houses, which are now stores. Don't know much about the history of this city, but it was built by strong men, independent men, and women. I want to be loved by all people, big and small, legless, unlegless. There's some balloons. House of Lords, I think that's a hairdresser. Yeah, this isn't so bad. So, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, there's a lot of people walking down the street. And who knows? They have jobs, they probably do. Maybe they're on their break. Uh, ABC Books, Nails. Yeah, I, I hope the autofocus isn't like auto-focusing too much. 
gonna have to buy some water. This area is really expensive. Some places I can get a bottle of water for a dollar. Some places it's as much as like two, three dollars. So you've got to pick the right place. And uh, well, what we're heading towards is, uh, well first, the first main uh, landmark I'd say would be college. Uh, college turns into Carlton, but I, I stay on the west side, so uh, I always call it college. Uh, perfect light timing. Uh, so past college, so college, college is college, college is good. College has some good places on it, um, but Dundas is where it's at. Dundas has the Eaton Center. Uh, oh, that's kind of beautiful. Got our cement truck. And, uh, you know, people probably just think I'm a tourist. Think, think I'm touring the city. When I am not, I am a native-born son of Toronto. I have fancy business. So, uh, I don't know what that store is. I guess, like, just odds and ends. Knickknacks. And when we get down to Dundas, oh man, is it, oh, another sex shop. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be busy down at Dundas. Better, uh, Check my belongings. Don't want to be a <laughs> hole. Don't want to be robbed. Yeah, I'm loosening up. Loosening up. So, yeah, you got some old buildings, which are now businesses. I don't know what the rent is for. Usually, I can cut get some wind. I hope you have as much fun watching this as I had filming it, which means I hope you are terrified. Uh, people say my videos are disturbing. I, I just think I'm a ordinary boy. Good boy. Ever since I've been focusing this camera on me, I've been paranoid that you know, there's a camera directly behind me, a $10,000 camera following me around, making a documentary of me cameraing myself. It's got a kind of abstract, a postmodern. So, uh, yeah, this is a long, long street. We took the subway through most of it. I went about, I don't know, six, seven stops in the subway. And, uh, yeah, I wonder how we're doing for battery life. Oh, we're quite low on batteries. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off for now. So, now we are at Dundas Square. Uh, 
as you can see it's like Times Square quite a bit of people actually not many people as uh, there normally is uh, but uh, yeah it's uh, I guess it's a what is it it's a Tuesday at 10 a.m. so I guess people not really uh, doing their thing here some camera guys uh, it's a beautiful so now we're in the uh, rich person's business neighborhood and uh, the CBC building is close to here Good Life Fitness there's Good Life Fitness over there next to McDonald's I was going to show you the Church of the Holy Trinity, but I took one look at that place and, gee golly, I was frightened. Uh, very low on battery life. I wish I could just uh, buy some batteries for my camera, but I guess I cannot. Smoke shop. Hello. There you go. Just gave someone some money. And we're on King Street. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh no. Police. As you can see, quite a wealthy, big business industry. Uh, these are the banks. They control the economy. Uh, it's quite frightening filming here. I suspect people, ninjas might knock out my uh, teeth that might attack me. Uh, all coming for me. Uh, quite likely. Uh, so this would be uh, Scotia Bank. It's a uh, bank in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is a province in Canada. Oh man, Toronto Stock Exchange. That's like the New York Stock Exchange, I guess. What do they call that? The T... They call the Toronto the TSX. The Dow Jones, I guess. Industrial Average. Cab. I'm in his way. Uh, and this would be the CBC and the CN Tower. Uh, great temple. Been walking quite fast for a while because I'm quite scared. Uh, great temple. Uh, television. Such. where all the uh, action happened, all the fun and excitement, all the, you know, people being happy, being joyous. It's a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Want for a smoke. CBC, Canadian Broadcasting, and got some French. The 
great halls of wisdom. So you see, they've got a theater, they've got a museum. Ah, oh, looks like something is happening here. Caution tape. I don't know what's happening. That's the Hockey Night in Canada set. Gift shop. Glen Gould Studio. I've never been in there. Oh, I see. No one's here, so I can talk. Ah, a little lounge. I guess people will come here to hobnob. Oh, a theater of some kind. I was not aware of this. Hello. Hello. Yeah, don't want to bother them. They're probably in production. That's the CBC building. Great mecca of excitement and uh, possibility. Now I want a hot dog, but I want a beer so I can relax. So here I am with my sausage. It was two fifty, which is a reduced price. Usually it's like three fifty four dollars. My life, loving it, living it, loving it, and I'm just gonna um, That's what I call spicy people. So as you can see, it is 11:19 a.m. I left the house around 10, and I'm on my way home. I'm going to edit up this video. Uh, I'm perhaps a, a god, uh, perhaps a deity of some kind. Uh, power flows through me. Uh, uh, a moral, but it might say immortal, because uh, I am a, perhaps a, I ate a hot dog. I'm, God says don't eat pork. Not quite sure why. Uh, but I'm waiting for the subway. And uh, 